Hello, this is Thibaut for another animation video tutorial. So today we're gonna see a deep scrolling effect done with bricks and motion page. So let's see how it looks like. So starting part, and then we have this kind of deep, what I call deep scrolling effect, where the screen is uh, kind of increasing slowly uh, kind of scaling and growing slowly so again so which give this kind of 3d taste so let's see how it's done so i have my dummy section for the start and end bit then i have my section for the deep scrolling then it's a section and nothing special i aligning in center layout i give a certain height uh, background i give my color and css this one is really important not to forget because otherwise it won't give this uh, 3d uh, appearance if you don't put Let's see. You see the picture? They are flat. If I put back, then they give this 3D taste. But it has to be combined with something else. We will see it that a bit later. So, picture wrapper. I have four picture and a text wrapper. Every picture wrapper has the same class, so deep picture wrapper, which give a width of 100% and expect ratio of 1. I give us an index of 10, so it's on top of uh, nothing, actually. I could delete. Um, then my deep picture one that's there, there i should have put an z index it's nine so it's sitting i'm sure it's sitting on top of the other one um, so this one the important part is okay it's position the picture wrapper is position absolute inside the container and I'm giving this, this is button as well, to a preserve 3D uh, with the transform style property. Then I have just my picture inside, nothing, nothing special. But what is important here is the deep picture one. I'm giving um, a layout and I'm putting some positioning on left and right position you remember it's position absolute and also here i don't have but i'm putting on a translate z so in 3d dimension it's if i put negative it go to the back not to the front so it's important it's that's why it's combined with the translate z and the uh, perspective that we put on the always on the parent you put the 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 perspective the perspective is on the um section because what i'm we're gonna see i'm gonna animate the uh, container inside the container every picture will have will have a different z uh translate z so minus 50 rem for the second one minus 100 rem for the third one and minus 150 rem for the fourth one and the text wrapper is minus 250 rem and always preserve 3d then let's move to motion page so actually i have two uh two animation one is entrance so let's see uh, again you see yeah just a small it's starting from north position original position and it's taking their left and right position 
So the deep picture wrapper is okay. Let's go to the builder from left and right zero to nothing, meaning their original position. Then I am uh, animating the um the picture and the text itself. So it's a scroll trigger delay of one second. Uh, pin element top zero percent, pin element bottom minus hundred percent, and I'm animating the container. Nothing from. Uh, that we I think we can get rid of this. Let's see after. Uh, well, let's see right away if I haven't broken anything. No, that's fine. That was just a test. Um, so the deep container from nothing to, and then if you remember, my text was minus 250 rem. So I'm translating the container of everything moving step by step to the front. So my 250 rem. So basically the title is going back to its original position and all the other picture are getting out of the screen and to make them out of the screen also i'm adding some effect uh just a blur effect actually i could add an opacity sorry opacity effect as well so if we see the effect You see the picture and slowly it's blurring and disappearing. Slowly blurring and disappearing. Slowly blurring and disappearing. Blurring and disappearing. And the text is coming to the 100%. And it's the end. So hopefully it was uh, helpful for you. Uh, see you to another video.